Welcome guys to another episode of Civil Textures. In today's video, we're looking how you can customize your AutoCAD user interface to look something like this, from this to this, where you can have all the macros that they're useful for your work. For example, these are manhole numbers. These are the manholes. And for example, if I wanna add some text, I just bam, add some text. If I wanna add a drainage channel, I can bring my block here and it can work Either way, in paper or model space. For example, model space, if we want to add some drainage nodes, that's it. That's how quickly you can work with if you implement macros. So, let's begin. So, to start with, you need to get familiar with the AutoCAD user interface and the naming. So, these up here are called tabs. And within the tabs, there are panels, and within the panels, there are the commands. Some of them are like drop downs, as this one, some of them are just like single command buttons. Now, to start with, you, we wanna go to CUI, which stands for Custom User Interface. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna create a new custom user interface file. So we go here and create new. We're gonna save it, and let's name it test and then we're gonna go back to customize and at the bottom of the autocad lt or autocad if you have just hold right click load partial customization file and load the test one and hit apply and okay now nothing you won't see anything happening but if you type cui load you should have your test here so if not you can just go browse and then select your CUIX file, then hit load and close. Now, if we go back to CUI and at the all customization files drop down, we're gonna select our test. And what we're gonna do is go ahead and create our new command. Let's name that command rectangle. And let's create an, an added a cube as an icon and let's create another command let's name it circle let's select the circle but hit apply now if we go back to rectangle we can see the command has few properties it has the name description extend help file name so basically if you click on it, it will open the file and explain more the command display name and the macro now you will be interested more in the macro where all the magic happens so carrot c carrot c is basically escape escape button and then if we type circle and hit semicolon that means semicolon stands for intern and circle basically creates a circle now we created those two commands and what we're gonna do is go to our ribbon we have tabs and panels we said that tabs have panels in them so we need to create a new panel and let's name it drawing and we have row one and what we can do is just simply grab our rectangle hold left click and drag and drop it in row one and we can go ahead and create a new row make sure your row is above the slide out so it can be visible otherwise if it's uh, uh, below the slide out then you will have to expand it so if we go to circle drag and drop you can see now the panel preview if we go click on the rectangle and we can go change the pattern style and name it small with text and we can do the same with the circle we even can change the name the display name so we can type cir for example and for the rectangle we can type rec and if you click somewhere within the panel you can you the actions will take immediately now if we go hit apply and what we can do now as we said the panels are in tabs but since we haven't defined any tab we need to create a new tab so right click new tab and let's name it tutorial and what you can do is just grab your drawing panel and drag and drop into your tutorial and if we hit save and go back to all customization files this is your AutoCAD LT CUI basically file and what you need to go do is in your tabs you need to add the tutorial tab which we already have added here because of this uix file so if you go hit apply and okay 
it should appear here but if it hadn't then what you can do is go to test expand the ribbons tabs and grab the tutorial expand the ribbon from the autocad lt what you would do is just drag and drop and then we can hit apply okay if nothing happens then you can type cui load unload your test browse and load back again your cui file and you hit close and that should fix it as you can see here we have our tutorial tab and we have our drawing panel and we if we hit rectangle we can create a rectangle by just clicking the left click and if we hit on the circle the circle command is already activated and we can just hit and create a circle now what if we want a drop down menu for multiple options for example drainage uh, key for example we've got for a 100 and then we've got for a 200 one so basically what this command is it's a drop down with buttons which each button is associated with bringing one block for the example the drainage 100 is one block in a drawing and the drainage 500 is another block in another drawing so go ahead cui and what we can do is go to drop down test and let's create a new panel just so you can get comfortable with it and let's name it drop down and in the row one we can just create a new drop down and name it scales let's create a new command and name it scale one to 100 and let's say we want to bring a let's say we want to draw a line for example just for example line uh, uh let's name it line actually we're reinventing the wheel here but hey ho and let's create a new line and name it polyline poly line and just type poly here semicolon for enter now let's give them a shape so we can differentiate them so let's say this is line and let's say this is a line and this the other one is a polyline hit apply and what we can do is in the scale drop down we can just drag the polyline drop it and do the same with the line and drop it so as you can see here there is this arrow which signifies the drop down and what we can do is we can add the text if we go to row we can see what's been selected if we hit apply and just grab the drop down and drop it into our tabs so basically expand your tabs and drop it down to your tutorial tab it should be there so hit apply and okay and if we go to our tutorial we should have the drop down panel with our drop down menus tutorial and polyline we create a polyline as you can see this is a polyline and this is a line as you can see so now what you can do with the custom user interface where the possibilities are endless for example you can create a clear scale list or you can so basically if i clear the scale list you can see the commands that went through so let me extract this one so you can see uh, scale list what it does is scale list edit and then delete delete all and exit and then if you want to add a scale list of 100 it tells scale list add add scale list one to 100 already exists redefine scale yes and we add the ratio and we keep going so basically if you know how to type in that command if you memorize what you type in that command prompt you all you have to do is just to go to cui go to your file and just go to your commands that you created and just type them all in here i'll show you an example of how to import a block so basically i'll show you the command line to import a block so if we go to our commands let's say here's the key so what we've done is here we have the carrot c carrot c escape escape and then insert and we hit enter then it's the name of the file and then the enter and then the slash signifies the user input so basically after we insert the software will ask us where do you want to place it so that's what the slash is it's waiting for user input and then it's enter enter so basically accept the scale the rotation everything and then what we want to do is explode our last insertion because if you have a block in a drawing when you insert it 
it will bring it as a new block of the whole drawing so basically whatever is in that drawing will bring it in and then we just purge it and then we just tell them what to purge and then know for the rest now if we show you this in practice how it is is basically this bring the manhole and if we hit f2 so we can bring our command line and as you can see here insert the block name conversion wait for user input then conversion one and then insertion point is the same x y factor scale zero specify rotation zero explode the last object then purge and it deletes the one object now you need to be careful when you insert block because what you need to make sure is that your blocks have been your blocks have been placed in your supports file search path as you can see here i've got a folder named cts cad settings slash blocks that's where all my blocks are and autocad picks that one up so you don't have to type the file path name but you just have to type the file name because it's already in the support file search path so i hope you have find this video helpful and you can take this and use it uh, in your day-to-day -day work and hit the like button if you like the video hit the sub button if you love the video and i would like to thank ben and Mikkel for allowing us to use the autocad license to bring this video to you see you next time